I always say as a business loan broker, you gotta be down for whatever, as I always say. So on this call, as you will see, we have a referral partner that's calling in to discuss a loan scenario for a client. And he would like to kind of just go over the loan scenario, seeing what options is out there. This is our first call that I've ever had uh, with the referral partner. So the objective of the call, we're, we're trying to fill each other. I'm trying to see about this possible loan that he has for a potential client. And he's trying to see if we have the right program to potentially assist this client. So a different loan scenario, sometimes this is a good way to understand that sometimes you're not speaking directly to the client. Sometimes you might be speaking with a third party. So how do you handle that? How do you utilize the three batch of lending? Nothing changes, as you will see. How do you utilize the three batch of lending, ask the right questions, gather the right information to assess the borrower and also instill confidence. It's about instilling confidence. People do business with people they know and like. The initial call you have with anybody, it's a confidence test. It's like a date. I do. I love you. Said that to me before. Okay, when you go out on a date, okay, you initially had the physical attraction. Now you sit down and have some coffee with each other. Maybe we can get together sometime and uh, and have some coffee or something. To see if you like each other, okay? You both know that there is an interest there, but you sit down to see if you can tolerate each other. Uh, if you can allow me to use that word. So this right here, again, a strange, not all regular initial call that we have directly with the client. This is with a third party, but we're not changing anything. We know our rules and we're good. Business loan brokers, we're not glorified before funds. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Let's go ahead and listen to this call and drop your comments down below. Do all that YouTube stuff. And if you don't know, you should know school community free free if you want to go ahead and interact with like my individuals just like you they uh, want to learn about business how to grow their agency if they want to learn about how to get into this industry link in the description what the hell are you doing do it right now before this video starts so you can take notes come on let's go this is a great funder to work with because we're going to need our handheld for them to get an sba for them or something okay. i may have to stay on uh, you know as some type of a lead funding shareholder or something like that to get them help qualified they got good credit but they got a lot of stuff locking up their uh okay. so let's let's slow it right like the trust. If, if you don't mind let's slow it down a little bit so i can um kind of get some particular so you're trying to work with another your tenant who's trying to purchase the building and the business or just the building alone just the building alone we may end up just selling the llc to him which which holds the business um, okay. but yeah we can cut that we can cut that pie whatever way we need to cut it got it the building let's talk about how much are we trying to sell it for well i'd love to sell it to them between three and a half and four million bucks it's worth about four million so three and, and a half to 1.5 okay. debt on it still okay One, so six. that's the most important thing is that they acquire the debt to take over that pay out that loan and then we can work on refinancing it or whatever later okay where's this building located uh, you want the full address? Yes, sir. Okay, let me get it for you. Hold on one sec. All right, sir. Uh, yep. What kind of business they're running in this property right now? Uh, the tenants? Yes, sir. Uh, trucking and warehousing. Trucking and warehousing. Okay, so it's a truck and a warehouse building. Okay, let me pull it up. See. Yeah, so the building itself is 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 uh, is an old GM Motorsport building, the '80s. Yeah, it's a multi-purpose warehouse. It's you know it's got everything you need for all different types of manufacturing or warehousing or whatever, right? So essentially, we when we had it and we still have it, we were, we were releasing it out and doing an active business ourselves. We were in the PP business, but as you know, that shit's dead and dying. Mm -hmm. So we're jumping out. Uh, we have tenants in there now, but you know. Ultimately, we'd like to get this building, you know, sold over to this trucking company people, and they take over the the building and the and knock off the debt. And the debt on the building, you you said the debt is about one point five, right? It's less than that, about one point four. Yeah. One point four. Yeah, one point four. But you put one point five. You put one point five. Okay, got it. What do you know about this trucking company? How long have they been in business? How much are they doing annually as far as revenue? You know, what, what do we know about them? Yeah, so I have an intake form. I'm going to get them to fill out on Monday, but I kind of softly know their you know financial history they've been in business since uh, one of them since 2010 one of them since 2018 or 17 or something like that i believe they're this is where i don't know if they're understanding their own numbers and books so i need to talk to their accountant next week but they got a shit ton of assets in terms of you know trucks and trailers and this and that and i believe their top line revenue is like 1.5 each so maybe it's like maybe it's between two and a half and three now you, you say 
you keep saying both, so it seems like we're dealing with two different separate businesses. Yeah, so let me let me clarify that for you. So uh-huh. it's two separate entities, two different businesses that are coming together to form a new business and they're going to go into partnership together. They're trying to open up a new LLC company that essentially both of them combine. I'm telling them that's not very powerful because now you got a now you got a baby of a company, you got no history on it, right? Uh-huh. Correct. Um, so you know, but but that's essentially what the mechanics is. It's two individual trucking companies owned by you know single entity truck drivers and they're going to come together to put their resources together one guy's really good at running freight for all the local manufacturers and one guy's good at something else and they like each other and whatever that's what they're trying to do it would essentially be the both of them that's acquiring this building from us gotcha so now do you know how much money they have to play with in a sense and the reason i ask you know let's just throw some numbers out there this is um you sell it for four million they need at least 20 percent down do you know if they have that kind of money to put down you know we're talking about 800k Uh, 800k right so i don't think they can get up to 800 i've already told them that they better be in the like 10 percent range right the three to 500 range is something they were able to discuss with me they wasn't like oh absolutely we can't do that so i think they can come up with 5k 500k are you willing to do a little bit of owner financing absolutely that's what we're looking at doing is we're looking at doing vendor take back with them because they won't come up with the four million so we'll hold shares that they can buy us out at later the key component is, is that the no, what, what i'm what, what i was what I was referring to is, can you finance the 10% if, and then they come up with the 10% and then the lender comes out with the 80%? It's possible, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We, we can do that. Now, again, what we can look at doing is we can now, we could sell it to them at, a, at the outstanding balance, but maintain some shareholdings on the, on the building and they can buy us out of shares when they're more financeable for the full four. Like we're, look, we're okay to look at that too with them. Okay. So what that kind of would look like is we'd be looking at a two million dollar type loan for them specifically without us being uh, owner financing in there as well we could make a sale for two million which would knock off the outstanding balance on the loan put a little bit of cash in our pocket they come up with that whole that whole 20 percent on 200 which they could do right I see what you're saying okay and then that- and then what we would do is we would hold on to shares on on that building until uh they were able to come up with the rest of the two million to buy a house you would be comfortable in second position of course because the lender would be in first position that's right i mean yeah that's possible you know what well, I mean? yeah that's very much so possible uh, puts the lender in a very uh, comfortable position because uh, they have a very low loan to value especially in first position now talk to me about their credit do you know any, anything about their credit we got people with with good credit here or what are we talking about they got good credit yeah they got good credit i, I believe they're in like the high 600 700s range okay. it's nothing crazy good but you know and I, and I think what you know what they'll find some weakness in credit is their cap to credit right so they got a lot of stuff that they have on lease or have bought on credit, meaning trucks, trailers, etc., because they're ramping up. Mm-hmm. But uh, in terms of like payment history and stuff, they told me I have a full credit on them. Obviously, mm-hmm. they told me that they're not a default type okay. company and all that kind of stuff. So, so yeah, Justin, this yeah, sounds I don't know, th- you fucking middle middle of the line kind of numbers there. This sounds like something we can play around with. Kind of the next steps would be is number one, we got to look at their credit, and then number two, yep. if I can, if we can get some some financials, if I can get a year to day, you know, P and L or something yep. to get get a, a bird's eye view of what these financials look like and then you know maybe a conference call after that you betcha sir yeah 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 so number one i wanted to create a relationship with you i, I trust my bo- my boy over there so you said you guys are good stuff so i wanted to get a relationship going mm-hmm. it sounds like you guys do you know all different types of lending i yeah. think these guys would be a good good candidate for an sba type loan because they've never pulled <laughs> one before mm-hmm. you know might have a little bit more flexibility there and you know, all that kind of good stuff obviously with the terms that we're willing to work with this can be a very attractive loan for most because it, the liability is nothing crazy right yeah so i you know i think you're right like let me get all the information from these guys i just wanted to kind of find some people we can work with i got you know a couple of other people i'm talking with and we also have the guy that helped us finance that building originally but he's a is a busy dude CBRE guy out of LA it is what it is hard to get a hold of but uh, yeah so if you, you got my email if you can shoot over all the kind of things that you need criteria wise I can start gathering that information from these from the tenants and then we can start looking at how we can facilitate a, you know, some type of structure where we can get this type of deal done for them and we're looking to do it in the next couple months okay and what I'm gonna need oh. I'm, I'm sending you an email and I just want a, a recent credit report for both borrowers and if they don't have a recent copy of a credit report I'm gonna send you a link on where they can 
pull a, a credit report, okay? And then, so. and then uh, yes, they can pull it themselves. It's, it's gonna be a soft pull. So we can just take a yep. sneak peek. And then I want a current year-to-date P&L for both businesses. Yep. And if they want me to consider any collateral they have as far as trucks, we keep mentioning that they have a lot of trucks, then I can take a look at those trucks because yep. we do have uh, our asset-based lending. So if that we can do 50% of the value. So if they have 50% of the value, the whatever assets they have, we can consider them for a loan. Yeah, understood. Okay, so. That's why I kept mentioning it. We may have to put some of their assets as, as uh, liabilities for them, right? Yeah, I'm gonna send you a, a, a blank asset list so they can kind of list down all the assets that they may be willing to pledge as collateral, okay? okay? All right, that's about it, man. Any questions? No, it's great, that's all I like to do. Thank you so much, man. I'll talk to you soon. You have a good weekend. Thanks, my friend, bye. All right, bye-bye. So we had a little bit of a complicated call because this gentleman was actually calling on behalf of some other people. But again, the, the three packs of lending uh, method still works. I was able to collect the necessary information that I need to kind of understand what's going on. This is where sometimes most brokers kind of get lost a bit. But again, if you still follow the three packs of lending and it goes down to these three things, credit, revenue, assets. Now, what am I going to be requesting? A recent copy of their credit report. And if they don't have a recent copy, click here. Provide them my identity IQ link. A current year today for both businesses and an asset list. And I'm going to provide them a copy of an asset list. Uh, these are some of the things that I always provide for my brokers. So you have this asset list. I think I have it in Word and Excel. Uh, it's a cool list. And that's it. We'll send that over and we're done with that call. We're going to set up a task in the system. And what are we following up on? Here now for two business asset list. Boom. next week we're done anyway if you stay with me through the end you know i appreciate you i really do please go ahead and give me a like to the video subscribe to the channel uh and i guess i should go ahead and, and pay some bills uh let you know what this video is brought to you by our sponsor broker solutions academy there's going to be a link in the description we work with people that are interested in becoming a business loan broker we have a very comprehensive business loan broker course and we're going to be teaching you everything you need to know about about how to become a business loan broker our mission statement is we help business loan brokers understand and simplify the various funding solutions that are available in the marketplace so you can properly serve your clients stop the endless confusion and self-defeating pointless rat race they're currently in and grow their business while maximizing profits by teaching them how to become a real business loan broker not just a referral partner this video is also brought to you by Pennington consulting group and that's where we work directly with the entrepreneurs and also business owners to help them get funded so if you're looking to start grow or even expand your current business Pennington consulting group there's going to be a link in the description where you can go ahead and schedule a time and like we always say at Pennington consulting group our goal is to help you reach your goal again thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video